Hey guys, Tarko Cyclone FPV. I'm getting ready to do a video for a customer of mine. I figured, you know what, it may help you guys too, whoever's getting, uh, I don't know, whether you have a Radio Master TX16S or you're trying to bind to an XM Plus or one of the FreeSky uh, receivers. So here's what we got. Uh, let me do a split screen here. Um, what we have right now is this is a brand new Sector 132 running an XM Plus receiver. And that's what he got. And I told him I'd make him a video on how to bind it. All right. So here's what we're going to do. First thing we're going to do is uh, I've got the I've got the uh, quad off right now. There's no power to it. Let's just go to our TX16S. OK, now I've already made a model. Uh, and if you hadn't made a model yet, but you have models, you want to just copy one over, which is usually what I would recommend. So if you have a working model uh, of something, uh, one of your drones and the sticks are the way you want them and the switches are the way you want them. Best thing to do is just hold the button down and go to your model select right here. And when you click that, find the one you want. Now, what I did is I took the SQ130 drone uh, and I just held down that and it said, and I said, duplicate the model. And when I did that, uh, I'm not going to do it again because I already did it. But when I did it, it basically put it here. And then what I went and did is I went and uh, highlighted it and held the button down again. And I clicked to select the model, which since it's already selected, you won't see that menu from there. I hold my model button down and all I did was change the name up here by highlighting and clicking and then I went down and I changed the here's one thing to be very very cautious about right let me show you real quickly when you hold this button down here and you go to your model select if you scroll you'll look right here and you'll see the model number change right so the first one says TBS is model one dot bin two three four or two three this is five six seven I don't know what happened to four I must have deleted it. but anyways I match the receiver number with the model number here. So what you do is when you go back here and you hold your model button down, scroll to the left. And as you see right here, my receiver is number seven. Okay, so I just do that so I keep everything uh, organized. On my mode, I select multi, free sky X D16. Here's my modules uh, uh, version. And then everything, just make it look like this. Okay, so let me see if I can zoom in there for you. This will help you a little bit, I hope. So just make it look like this, multi, free sky X, D16, uh, and then you can have your version 1.3.2.6, uh, AETR is fine, I don't care about that. Uh, channel range, we're gonna do one through 16, and then, like I said, receiver number is important, and then we'll get to this point. So once you have this done, right, once you have your model actually here and you wanna bind, what you're gonna do next is you take your sector 132, in this case, okay, we're gonna set our radio aside for just a second. On the 132 or whatever FreeSky receiver you're using, the bind button is right here. All right, so right on the uh, right on the side of the power there, you're going to see a little what looks like I guess a gold color button, uh, and I'm going to use a, uh, a a small uh, hex driver there to press it. So I'm going to press it, and I can feel it uh, press here. So let me get that lined up. All right, once it's pressed, I'm going to give it power just like this. Okay. Now, what I'm looking for is to make sure that this is, that the, the light is red, okay? So on my XM Plus, I have a solid red light. I'll try to show you guys. Maybe I can show you this way. Right here on the other side of that uh, battery lead, there, you can see kind of the glow of that red light right there, okay? So now, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna move that aside. I'm gonna come over here with my radio, and I'm gonna, once everything is set here, I'm gonna find the bind button, and I'm gonna click it. And then I'm gonna select nine through 16 telemetry on, it's gonna chirp, and what you're gonna see here is that red light is now blinking. Let me show you. And you can kind of see it blinking right there, okay? Once it's done, well, it actually stops binding after a while, but it's done. You can hit your return button, return, return. And then what you're gonna do is power off your drone, okay? And then power it back on. And what'll happen now is we're bound, and our light is now green on our on our uh, receiver. So let me show you what that looks like here, so you can see. There's no more uh, uh, red. It is now just green, right there. Very very small light that you can see. I'll try to zoom in here if I can. Um, let me see if I can get that right there. It's a little blurry, I guess, but right there is the green light. There, you can see it right there. Okay. So that's our green light right there next to the red wire there. It's a little brighter there, okay? That means we're bound and we're done. So now what we do is we take our quad and we plug it into the computer. Let me see if I can fit this wire in here. Okay, there we go. Just hopefully, oops, like, come on. Just like that. And then I will bring you to Betaflight here. 
me do it like this. There we go. Okay, and let me zoom out a little bit. And then in Betaflight, let me go ahead and maximize that. We're going to connect. Uh, go to uh, going to go to receiver, and you can see now I move the sticks, and we have uh, we have everything working here. You can set your switches accordingly if they're not already set. All right, on this one I don't have any switches set. I will. Uh, I mean, I'll set those later. If you don't know how to set switches, let me know, and I'll do a little quick video for you. But you can see the stick movement, and we're all set, okay? So that is how you bind. Uh, let me do this. Okay, that is exactly how you bind your TX16S to a Sector 132 running an XM Plus, or any receiver for that matter. Uh, it just happened to be that I was working on a Sector 132 when we decided to make this video. So to my customer, thank you for your business, my friend, and thank you for being patient while I got this video out to you. Uh, you wrote me earlier today and reminded me to get it, so there you go. If you have any questions, guys, as always, you can hit me up uh, at CycloneFPV.com. Use our contact form. And please, uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel here at CycloneFPV. You can see the, the thingy below there. Um, uh, and there should be a subscribe button somewhere in this area. Uh, and also, you can jump on over to our Facebook page. I got all these buttons. Watch, watch this one. Boom. And that's our groups page. And that's uh, pretty much all I got, I guess. All right. Okay. So there you go. Other than that, guys, God bless. Be safe. And most of all, go spend time with your family. You never know how much time you have left. So go make the most of it. You can always fly later. And I would say, what's up to my boys, Ashton, Landon, and Jaden, and my wife, Samantha. Thanks, y'all, for an awesome, awesome Thanksgiving. And wish my dad the best. He's still in Beirut. My mom is in a bridge tournament right now. Good luck, mom. You got to win because uh, a bunch of old people in that room. You can do it. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Peace.